the Queen Elizabeth Theatre in Vancouver, British Columbia, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Mike McDonald! I'm as happy as I can be with the shape the world's in, but it keeps on getting harder to wear that silly grin. You can scream with laughter, or scream with pain, but there's always little things that'll mess with your brain, and just when you think Good, eh? Just duplicated the one that was in my living room. <laughs> Beautiful. People are always asking me if I'm happy. And, you know, I tell them I'm as happy as I can be with the shape the world's in now, you know. I think a lot of people aren't happy. I think, uh, I think a lot of people lead quiet lives of desperation with life being a series of ups and downs with brief interludes of happiness. Thank you. Good night. All right. What kind of a show is that? The, the usher's going to be passing out some Kool-Aid. I want you to drink it right now. Oh. What the hell? <laughs> Bring in another crowd. 14 shows a day. This guy must be funny. Huh? Drink the Kool-Aid. What? Uh, Bring in another crowd. Personally, I, I don't trust people that are happy all the time. You know, you know those people that have on their fridge that phrase, if life gives you lemons, you make lemonade. <laughs> I hate these people. <laughs> Wouldn't want to be trapped in an elevator with one of these people. So you might be here for a while. Let's get to know each other. <laughs> You know, they say that money can't buy happiness, but, uh, oh, I'd like to give that theory a try just once. <laughs> hey, give me a ton of money, I'll get back to you with the research on that. <laughs> What's the worst thing that could happen? Oh, you're right, I wasn't happy, but I'm rich. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> yeah, you never get money when you want it, though, huh? Like these people that win the lottery when they're 90 years old. Nice time to win when you got about a week left on the planet. How much oatmeal can you buy, really? Win the lottery when you're 90 years old, everybody you want to tell off is dead. <laughs> Guy to beat you up in grade eight, my boss, well, they're all dead. Man. All of a sudden, you're yelling at the paper boy for no reason. Yeah, you're, you're quick down in the roses. I didn't do anything. Shut up. Everybody's dead. <laughs> The people that kill me are the people that win the lottery and they go back to their same old tired jobs. Now, why would you want to go back to the factory if you won the lottery? Is that just to rub the noses of all the other people there into the fact that you don't have to be there anymore? Hey, hi, everybody. Sorry, I'm four hours late. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta ease up on that snooze alarm. <laughs> Better punch in. <laughs> late, late, late. Mike, the boss wants to see you. Ooh. I'm shaking. Yeah, a totally different attitude. You're sitting in the boss's office and he's giving you grief. You just sit there going, blah, blah, blah. I just bought the company. Here's a broom. A little dusty in here, don't you think? Everybody has somebody that uh, they used to go out with, that they dumped you, they, like, they really screwed you over, and you'd love to meet them again when you're doing well. <laughs> Just had your picture in the paper, winning $50 million in the lottery. Hey, how you doing, babe? Hey. I see you got a newspaper there. <laughs> Still living in the trailer park? <laughs> fly by your house in a private jet sky riding. I'm doing fine now. <laughs> buy all the land around our house, put in trombone factories. Bah, 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 bah. Make it stop. Bah. Get over it. 
You know, they did a survey with people who win the lottery, you know, what's the first thing they go out and buy? And the number one answer was a brand new car. That's probably what I'd do, you know, get a, you know, it'd be nice to have a nice ride for a change, you know, buy a sports car, Lamborghini or something, really fully decked out, you know, the turbo and everything, car phone, fax machine, you know, the whole nine yards. <laughs> Yeah, you know, I was thinking of getting a car phone a little while ago, but you know, if I ever got a car phone, I'd only use it for important things. Because I believe that driving all by itself is plenty. You know, staying between the white lines, not killing anyone, that's enough. I mean, how much more responsibility do you want to have? I mean, how much more stuff do you want to do in your car? You're rolling down the window, you're having a cigarette, you're changing the tunes in the radio, you've got a sunroof going, you're in a car phone. Oh, hold on, call waiting. All right. Uh, <laughs> hey, your left foot's free. Why don't you put in a computer game? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You know, they just came out with these voice-activated car phones. You know, duh. I mean, how many people had to go off the road before this was invented? You know, most people are probably getting an accident the first day they get the car phone. You're like, guess where I'm phoning from? You have my car? That's right. I'm Joe Important. <laughs> I got my car. <laughs> oh, I'll have to phone you back. You know, they just came out with a video phone now. Something they promised us in the 50s, with that along with jetpacks. <laughs> Where are they? <laughs> I really don't think the video phone's gonna catch on because the fact that people will be able to see you will prevent you from answering the phone half the time. <laughs> you won't be able to come out of the bathroom with your pants around your ankles. <laughs> what? This better be important. <laughs> Every time I go to the bathroom, they phone. Ring, 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 ring. Yeah. It's going to be harder to phone in sick for work. You know? Yeah, I really sick today. I can't come in. How come you got a tennis racket in your hand? Yeah. <laughs> I'll be right in. Damn it. I got to think. Video phone's gonna give a new meaning to that obscene phone call. Hello? Bleh. What the hell? Keep the kids away from the phone. Some kind of pervert on the phone. Hope they catch him. I think the stupidest use of the phone, obviously, is that 976 sex numbers, you know. <laughs> This kills me. What does this say about our society? How unhappy do you have to be to have phone sex? Please. First of all, if, you, if you're getting off on the phone, get a life. I mean, please. It kills me the way they advertise these things. Phone up and hear a woman's secret fantasies. A woman's secret desires. If there's any reality that she phone up and hear stuff like, yeah, I like to get paid the same amount as a man for the same job. 